This is Big Kahuna Thrust right here in the Big Island Hilo side. We got these glorious jungles behind me. We're gonna head out over to some falls and I'm um, just waiting on Carla. She's getting some stuff from the car and we're gonna take you along. This has been a really good vacation. I get a really good tan, nice sunburn on my left shoulder, part of my chest and a, just a little bit on my right shoulder. I'm not sure how that happened, but um, so far it's been a lot of fun here in Hawaii. And ooh, we have a wild animal here of kitty cats. And behind me, another invasive thing is a, a wife. Wives are very invasive. They will take and over you your love life it. and your world. It's like the biggest bamboo trees I've ever seen. A lot of steps, easy going down, coming back up. Gonna get a good exercise on these, on these thunder thighs. They're more like porkatsu thighs. A little burnt from a little suntan the other day. Wow. Color pig thighs. <laughs> This little running stream. This place is beautiful. Not as beautiful as Carlo, but it's close. Y'all ready to go thrifting? <laughs> it's one of the craziest parkings I've ever had to take. All right, it may not look like it, but the parking here is pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. Let's go inside here and see what we could find. We're on Hilo side of Big Island, Hawaii, and it is nuts to park there. It's pretty narrow. The color of the tag is blue. So with the parking, if you're not good at reversing, um, I will try to see the park on the outside, but space is limited. Looking over in a glass casing, nothing, but that doesn't mean I don't come across anything. In the second of jewelry, I love jewelry. I'm getting more and more into jewelry. And I do have a box opening that Lisa ended up sending me that I'm going to end up sharing with Carrie. She got some stuff for herself as well. Thank you, Lisa. Can't wait to get with Carrie and get that video out. So stay tuned for that. Coming across some jewelry, just looking at it, it looks more modern. I'm looking for things that stand out, more of things like from Hawaii. But that doesn't mean there isn't maybe some things that are in here. Usually when I see paparazzi jewelry, most of it ends up being paparazzi jewelry. I remember it being a big thing on Facebook. For $4.99 for a bag, that's not a bad price. They're a lot more expensive in Las Vegas. Looking at these wrist wallets down here, Coach is one I would not be wanting to resell only because it's been bureaued on eBay. Not sure about other platforms, but Kate Spade, that's a safe one. All right, resell. I don't know what we're going to find in here, but we're going to find something. Looking over on the side of the wall because I'm looking at the racks uh, that are on the floor level and they are mainly female. I'm not sure where the male section is, although it is highlighted above me, male kids and women but all i see are women's racks so looking at the bags trying to get away from the little bit of people that are in the racks for me to get to some of the bags i'm looking and realizing here in hawaii when we go to places like longs the insulated lunch bags are pretty pricey so i'm going to start looking at them more and more often especially in las vegas and other thrift stores that i go to in the mainland this one is one that stands out to me because of the quality of how it looks. And then the feel of it is also pretty cool too. It is a quilted lined bag. It's probably more like a purse. And this one insulated lunch bag. Now this one could be a multi-purpose. It could be more than just a lunch bag. It could be a purse as well. But I'm not wanting to get it. Looking at hard goods. This is where I'm really hoping I come across some really valuable stuff. 
Now, this is one people will tell me time and time again, Sunny, bells don't do very well. Why sell bells? Sure, they're long resellers, but I do what I like. And sometimes you're going to do the same thing that other people don't uh, have the same practice with. Not so much that they don't agree. Sometimes they just don't understand. We have different clientele and customers and viewers who are interested in stuff than one another. So things could dictate uh, differently for people from time to time and many occasions. But... It's all about learning for me. It's not what I what I already know. It's what I don't know. So these are nice. I look at these to look for. I look at glasses like this because sometimes they have etched names on the bottom by artists, which can make them valuable. There's so much glass out there I don't know about. A lot of glass I'm learning about, but it doesn't even feel like I'm making a dent. Ooh, look at this Disney little Disney 2020 coat. A little dirty on the inside, but that's not bad at all. How much is this thing? This is a cool cup. A little heavy. Got a Marilyn Monroe over here. Not a Starbucks glitter, no straw. Let's go over Starbucks. There's no price tag on the tumblers, mugs, or cups. So going to the counter, they ended up charging me a dollar ninety nine, which is a deal, and it's pretty amazing that even the sticker on the bottom, fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents retail, they sell used for nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Now I found a comp or completed listing on eBay that that's what it sold for nineteen ninety nine, free shipping. My items have shipping costs. Some people do things differently. Try what works best for you and just keep making some changes along the way. But give things that you change time to see if they work or not. Reevaluate yourself. Carla found some things. Let's see what she got. Thirteen dollars. Okay, never mind. It's yeah. Not it. I didn't see the tag. This one says four ninety nine. Oh, four ninety nine. All Disney. Wow. That one is original. Rudolph. Oh, Rudolph. This is Walt Disney too. That looks older. This is nine nine cents. This is cool. She's only four ninety nine. It's very important to look at the tags and type out what you see on there. This has Disneyland, Walt Disney World, and that's what I'm looking for. Not just Disney, not just Mickey Mouse. There's a huge difference She's when so searching for items. Though. And you're yeah. reselling plushes because you could throw them in a clear sleeve, then in the poly bag, and it's on its way. They don't break. This one might be around 20 to 30. 99 cents if it doesn't have a tag. Oh. Plus? Which is this you. one? That's me? <laughs> Even is a cheap. So I've sold this guy before just not too long ago for $15 oh, so I'm pretty sure I could sell it for around the same price mm. heading off into another aisle there's a ring light under there and that's pretty awesome but I'm looking at this BTS Jungkook one recently sold for around $30 plus shipping, and then V also sold for around the same price. So for $6.99, these two figures should be, do, be doing pretty good. Here's a comp of Jungkook, another one that I was just looking at um, a few minutes ago, and another one sold for around $20. So for $6, not bad, because they seem to be selling pretty fast, and not much of them listed are out there. So that's a plus, and I think I'm going to end up bunching them up and selling them together as a lot. And putting a price tag of $55 and see where that goes. I will accept an offer of $40 plus shipping. Cha-ching! Speaking of Mamadola, we'll be seeing her soon when we head off to Idaho. Patagonia Capoline Baseline Layer. I'm familiar with this, but never seen a Cujillo on there, which is, tells me I should get around $20 to $30, which they sell on average for. So pretty good find right here. But being excited as I get with items, you always got to make sure to do your checks under the arm, 
around the neck, looking front and back, inside and out. You're just doing all your little checks. Especially with traveling, this has to be worth it. I could get a lot more items. I'm finding some things, but not everything is worth getting. But this one is. Cha-ching. Go bows. Now this one I was really excited about. I've talked about vintage go bows, rainbows, Hawaii. This is a vintage shirt, 100% cotton, made in the US of A, oversized. It has the classic athletic heather gray. And on the backside, I'm not disappointed by it, but this really threw me off. Only because I was hoping it had gold bows more than anything. I felt this would be more desired by somebody who would find it here in the store at the Goodwill and left it. I know, you're probably going to say you should have got it, but I didn't. A little after an hour or so of thrifting, our tummy started to growl. We got a little hungry, but not too hungry. It's still early on in the day and we just ate breakfast not too long ago. So Carla found a place her, I think her co-workers recommended two sisters kitchen and they are known for their mochi and they have a variety to choose from carla has a video she's working on and going to be bringing what was that or you're saying it's her favorite this one for like this mochi it's sweet so it's it's not store but, but the other stuff i'm excited i've never had the sh uh, strawberry one yeah that sounds good yeah the strawberry milk. carla's back that way and i'm gonna go inside an antique store Maybe I could find some goodies. Maybe not. Let's find out. Usually the racks on the outside. What are these prices like? 20 <laughs> Antique prices for sure. Good brand too. 26. Some pricey tees, folks. Cook Street, 22 bucks. That's overpriced. We were just at another Goodwill and that one was $7 for collared shirts. Now if it's a Ryan Spooner, let it cook. There you go. This is a good brand right here. What price is that? 48 Wow. Now I could get the last shirt being $48 because I could see me listing that for around 60 plus being that it was vintage that brand is a very good brand and i do very well with it i usually sell for around 20 to 30 sometimes 35 dollars a use so that's a pretty good brand to look out for and when i that's say things price, are pricey i'm speaking as a reseller i'm trying to find things for low price and sell for for a big profit one thing that i did have an eye opener on was this, this beautiful piece right crystal. here i reach over to see if it's crystal that's beautiful or plastic oh my goodness and it is crystal it is a beautiful chandelier or a lamp um, or either wow. or. It's beautiful and That's I wanted so to share with you. And wow, I wish and hope I come across some things like that too. I was looking at the prices and they're pretty hefty. A lot of these things I see pretty often in Nevada. So it's not something that I'm looking at getting. I'm just looking at the prices and wanting to share with you. His business model of the owner I asked. Where does he get this stuff and how does he price it? He said that he finds this stuff online. Everything is online, what he sees, and I left it as that. I also wanted to share with you these uh, thimbles. I got a comment a while back, and it's not something I forget when people ask questions to look out for. I do keep an eye on them, but they're pretty pricey. If I could find some, I'll get some listed and share with you. Now, there's a piece right here that reminds me of an item that I have, just not as colorful, but just as beautiful that I may show in the future that I found a while back that I still can't get any information on. But maybe I'll reach out to George the Antique Nomad. This is the first time I've seen a piece of this type of glass paperweight. I'm not sure which is the top side or bottom side, but I want to share with you how beautiful it was. It's really nice for $50. I was tempted to ask and even bargain for it, but then I thought, nah. Turning around and on the other end, I'm thinking, is Carla almost done getting the mochi order? So I'm kind of in a rush now. I see these two figurines and I have one that's similar, but mine's more of an Eskimo uh, human figure. With these seals, it's kind of the same colorway other than the brown and green. There isn't a signature on it, but I do know that the one on the shelf is kind of similar. So they may be the same artist. Looking underneath, I kind of see more of numbers or it could just be scratches. Sometimes the eyes want to make sense of stuff to read it, uh, things that are symbolic. Now this one right here, $24. This one's an A-Wolf, A-Wolf original. And what I do know, look up A-Wolf and you will see items, figurines 
sell for only around fifteen dollars give or take two dollars not very valuable but imagine coming across them like at a dollar or two i'll definitely pick them up and sell them Now that we're back in the ninth island vegas hence ninth island so um i love this place i love that we moved here and created something more than what we imagined we weren't even supposed to stay here we're just gonna rent for a while move out to washington and then uh, along the way changed our mind things worked out for the best and i'm so thankful how things have turned out on top of that there has been a huge demand of having more of a vlog style content channel on here Carla is the answer to that vlog style. She's starting her own channel. Hundreds of you have already jumped over and subscribed to her. I hope within a week or two, she'll be done with her first video. She has some tweaks. She's learning a new program for what she has recorded. And with the content I wanted to share and with her style of vlog of vlogging, I felt it was only it only made sense that I gave her what I had and recorded for her to use on her end. So stay tuned for for her first video coming back. I'm really excited for her and I'm happy for you all too to see what you've been asking for come to light but over on my wife's channel. We are the yin and yang of one another. She's more of like fine dining, fine dining lobster. I'm more of like a dollar menu hot dog and I'm glad we get along very well. And I'm so happy that um, our worlds are coming together even more through YouTube. Some of you have met my wife. She's an amazing person. And I'm not saying that because she's across the next door. I could probably hear me. But I am saying that because she is, she's an amazing person. She has helped me get through so much. And I'm happy that finally my words are coming through for her to join me on YouTube. So thank you for that. There's two events that are coming up. I'm also excited about FlipCon. I'm gonna be there for several days. And then the Boss Reseller Remix. And a future video, I'm gonna be sharing with you more about the Boss Reseller Remix that I experienced and captured the last, last year when I went, it was so much fun. I'm Sunny in Las Vegas and you're not subscribed already, subscribe. Also, stay tuned for more content because I got more coming at you.